Hello, 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 everybody. Thanks for joining me once again on Castlevania Advanced Collection Platinuming Castlevania Advanced Collection. This is Late Night Gamer Dad whispering, of course, because I have my son right next to me. The rest of my family is asleep. And it's not that late. It is only, I think we're on 9.30 local time for me. So, without further ado, this is part two of uh, this video stream. I'm trying to uh, secure the rest of this, not secure. <laughs> trying to get the rest of the, I'm trying to secure the rest of the souls necessary to earn the one, I think, is it a gold trophy? Let me see. I don't know if I'm paused or not, but, uh, let me check. Click this. Yep, it's a gold trophy. 14.2% uh, of players have earned this trophy. So let's see if I can get it. If you remember last time, I was in the middle of trying to secure this soul from this ectoplasm. And if you remember the description of the ectoplasm which I've just defeated, the description was something like this. It's a cotton-like substance. <laughs> substance that oozes from the corpses of men with regrets. What colorful language. It's Monday, I guess I realize it's Monday night. It's a cold night for most of the United States. I happen to be in the United States right now. Um, I love playing video games. When it's nice and frosty outside, this makes me feel a little bit. Maybe it makes me feel cozy. It's, it's a cozy feeling I have, knowing that uh, thankfully I'm inside a house that has electricity. It's pretty warm, and as my family is currently safe, I can enjoy some time to myself playing. The games that I love. I'm pretty close with them. Oh, I do like this game. I do like this collection a lot. Maybe I'll give you a tour of the uh, of the collection later on. I'm not expecting to play so much tonight. If I can try to get the uh, souls from the ectoplasm and the iron golem. If you remember in the last stream, the last two souls. Um, were the ectoplasm soul and the iron golem soul. And as I'm doing that, I'm also collecting experience points to get to the next level. I wonder if I'll just, you know, for uh, shits and giggles, try to uh, try to get max level here. I think it's I think it's 99. I can't imagine it being any higher than 99. I just feel like. I just feel like I'm slightly overpowered for everybody here. Of course, what's ironic about this is, is that when I um, when I play, I don't I don't even use any of these special techniques that I'm, that I'm endeavoring to collect. I just feel like I can turn my brain off and try to get everything here. You know? Oh, 50 bucks. It's over here. Nothing, okay. So this is just a good ten, ten. Let me go back. Ten, fifty. Alright, so what we can do is go back and forth and get this money. And then we just see the money is racking up experience points. And I'm only here because, um, because, um, 
because I do want to get the like, the plasma soul, which can happen any moment. Hope everybody's day went well. I know that's impossible. Some people have shitty days. Everybody has shitty days sometimes. You can do as much as you can today. And for those who have the time and uh, the temporal and geological space to do things, then give yourself some extra time to do a lot of stuff. Don't rush into it all at once. Look at me, I've been playing this, these games, this specific game all year. Knowing that maybe one day I'll be able to platinum it, and then, you know, having the odd personal satisfaction of saying, okay, well, this is the first game I've ever actually, well, arguably, in Sony's eyes anyway, the developer's eyes, Konami's eyes, I guess say that I've actually completed. Is that, is this a... Is this a mute enterprise? Is this not worth doing if I only get one lousy platinum trophy? What does it do for me, really? Well, I guess it provides a psychological satisfaction. Okay. I mean, that I've committed this much time to, to a certain thing. I'm just able to do it somewhat well. Arguably well. I went back and I listened to my show from a few nights ago. Jeez, I use um and uh a lot. A lot of disfluencies. So I'll try to cut that down. I also heard myself do a little bit of ASMR in regards to the tea I was drinking at that time. And I put the mic right close to my throat and I was drinking that tea. I won't be doing that again. Now, I understand this is probably very boring for some people, if they ever get around to seeing this, but, I mean, the internet is a big place, relatively speaking, and I'm sure they have seen other people do this, or something like this. Let's see, is there a trick to this? Nope. I guess I'll just slaughter as many ectoplasms as you can. Dr. Peter Venkman and Dr. Raymond Stance would both be, be thrilled. Is it Raymond or just Ray? Ray Stance. Ghostbusters. I like the last Ghostbusters movie, Afterlife. But, it's for me, it's still not Ghostbusters. I like the original Ghostbusters. Even though the OGs are in Afterlife for the most part, eh, I wasn't I wasn't crazy about it. It was good. I liked that. I didn't watch. I never bothered watching uh, the 2016 Ghostbusters. Even though, admittedly, that some of the trailers looked funny, but it seemed okay. But you know what? I never got around to watching. Maybe one day. As you can see, this is getting pretty boring. You know, the thing of it is, why am I focusing on this room? Well, it's either focusing on this room, or I know there's one element here that I need, or it's...
switch game the castle for that same little thing. And I think I will just stick with this. Thank you very much. If you don't like it, well, try to check it later. Okay, we know that's not totally down there. Jeez, almost there, guys. Almost there. This just gives you an idea, like I said before, this just gives you an idea of how much time and practice you need to seize these souls. Is there a deeper esoteric meaning to what I'm doing? Perhaps. This game, after all, is about, as a lot of Japanese horror games happen to be, it's about identity. Uh, maybe I won't go into spoilers. If you're watching this, I'm guessing you uh, come into my channel looking for just being a little bit curious about all of this, uh, this story a little bit. I mean, this isn't a full playthrough. I, I do intend on doing full playthroughs of things eventually, but someone's got to start somewhere. Oh, I got the boar soul, but I don't need the boar soul. If anybody knows, why are there numbers next to these souls? You're supposed to max these out at 9. See, the max is at 9. So, anyway. I'm not that hardcore. Maybe one day I will be. Maybe I'll dust off my old save, or even my son, or my daughter, or something, or grandchildren, or something, if they, if they ever have any. I'll dust off Grandpa's old PlayStation 5. See the, see the uh, data there. Wonder if uh, they should go ahead and, and max out that account. I wonder how many of you guys out there, well, dads, I'm guessing dads are going to be watching this, even moms too, I don't know. Think about the true legacy that they leave their children. I've been thinking about that sometimes. I think about, I mean, of course financially, but. Wonder, and I'm, I'm not even talking about philosophically. I'm talking about when you buy something in this life, right? When you buy something in this life, and you pass away, where does it all go? I know, I know. Wills, estate sales, junkyard, antique stores, or heirlooms. Remember last week I mentioned, or last week, well, it wasn't me, the, uh, last, no, the other night I mentioned about how I, um, I started collecting these, you know, digital, things digitally and physically. And really, though, is it something I can give my children down the line? Is there a, you know, a, a digital, uh, program? That you could use that can that can pass all your digital games and media to uh, to whoever you want, whoever comes next. And if that was the case for you and your children, your family, it's worth thinking about. It's worth it, uh, probably considering. Uh, Especially in this age where there's so many, there's so much digital uh, files that that one acquires. Well, you should probably look into all you've done digitally. I mean, I spent a good part of my life doing digital stuff, digital work, digital uh, arts and entertainment, and not so much fun files, but. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that, some files that you won't be able to open on the newest computer sometimes, the newest software. You have to go and get digging deep, maybe you'll get lucky to find some developer, or if yourself, if you're a coder, to develop the right kind of architecture, 
to read old files. Are there older files that you have lying around that you have no idea if you can open them or not? The current software. A good um, a good example of this would be um, if you had uh, iChat during the Apple days, during the Apple like you know the mid two thousands when Apple was getting getting back on track. They would put uh, the messaging program. Now it's Messenger, but uh, then it was called iChat. And iChat was pretty much you log into your. Um, it was pretty much a, an American online instant messenger client, and you could archive your chats. Oh, uh, it's the inventory, I think. Inventory soul. You could archive your chats on iChat. So you can read them for future use, but nowadays you have to download because Apple doesn't support it. So you have to download an entirely independently produced software to actually open those those files up just to read them. All those old conversations that you thought you'd never uh, lose, or you didn't think you'd ever develop, you wouldn't have a, I think you wouldn't have access to them anymore. So, I guess it gives you an idea that sometimes you have to, bit, have to show a little bit of forethought to maintain uh, your legacy, I suppose. It's about your soul, isn't it? And here we are collecting souls. I'm wondering if I don't get this ectoplasm soul tonight, I'll probably just put a pause on it for now and come back some other night and try again. Well, um, this is a late night and I am the late night gamer dad. I was also thinking about calling myself midnight gamer dad. Again, I don't know if, uh, if anybody else is, is calling themselves by these names. I just thought, well, this has a nice ring to it. Oh, well, I'll stick with that. If there's anybody in the chat, and you want to see some of the... If you haven't seen this game in action before, you want to see some of the... of the... Uh, of the special abilities you get with me use different souls so I'll like, show you wait, I'll show you when I come back with this. So like this. Then you let me know. So keep doing this. Everybody just keep doing this, I guess. It'll be fun. Still collecting the money? Well, because I want to end up buying that ring. You never know. <gasps> oh man, I thought, it was, I thought it was the ectoplasm. If you're first, you don't succeed. Or if you don't succeed after almost an hour, try, try again. Let's see. 
thing, and then this is buff to hide. Flying armor, no. Let's try this. Not so strong. Okay, well, let's, let's go next one. Let's see, Black Panther. Wakanda forever. Oh, he's both point enemies. It's for Shadow Knight. Okay, this is kind of fun. Let's see what this is. Okay, that was okay. Let's see. Let's stop that here. Interesting. This could have been handy during the game, admittedly. Okay, restore his health, summon Zimp, transform his new crumb. I think I did this one too, let's try this again. He's hot. Kind of looks like the portrait. Jiva. Jiva, guy or girl? Sword. Let's see, Alistair. Death. But let's let's stick to the basics. Something out here right now. This is killing me. This is even. This is even worse than than trying to get the Mandrogata soul. Because Mandrogata is forever. I'm about to look this up. This shouldn't take forever to do. Now. be able to get this fairly soon. Is there a soul that uh, encourages... Yeah, I think it's called Headhunter, isn't it? I think it's... I don't want to take her in yes, because... Yeah, because it's like strength. But I kind of want to increase experience, too. That's my... That's my jam. Uh, let's see, no... Let's do that. Getting this ecoplasm. So it takes a second forever. Let's just slay, uh, slay in. Let's just slay this. Alright, so I'm cursed now, right?
Curses draws out my my magic. But uh I'll try this. Be watching. Oop. So I've been doing this for about 25 minutes. I don't know. I don't understand why I'm not a YouTube star. <laughs> 25 minutes doing this shit. Look at this. Well, out of curiosity, let's look at the map because I only have to do. Um, I think I did the downstairs before, so let's just head back. No, you don't know, fuck that. I'm gonna go back here. I'll do one more sleigh. And this was right, this was to the right. I'm gonna keep exploring the rest of the castle to see if we can get a clue as to if we can get more, uh, find more ectoplasms. Ectoplasmic residue! Really fun. So we go save. I hate leaving the ectoplasm like that because I, I feel like I'm just wasting time exploring other things. But oh, look at that! How about them apples? Ask and you shall receive. So it goes. Alright, hopefully this is a bit more exciting for you guys to watch than me going into the same room over and over and over again. Um, let's explore up there. Because I feel like there's a lot more happening over there. Oh, 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 oh. Now, why do you think I haven't got an ectoplasm soul yet? Isn't that the weirdest thing I've got? Okay. Not a. See, rock from where I go. Ow. And I'm cursed. Into the sky! There should be like an anime song playing as I go in the sky. Oh my god. Well, um. Why don't we explore the rest of this peculiar floor and then return? Oh, it's a flea man. Arachnids I've gotten. But... but in regards to uh what's his name? I haven't gotten it yet. Ouch. Hit that head up there. Oh no. Oh. What is this? I wonder. There's a. Um... Oh, that happened over here. So if I go straight to the left. Look at the creepiest shit, look at this. Look at that. It killed the old butcher, you know. Can you imagine, it's like you're still being... <laughs> Hi, how are you? Anybody in here? Nothing. Um... Alright, I'm gonna have to play. Let me go back up here. I'm gonna do something. Ouch. Wait a minute, is this? No, I don't wanna do that. I think I'm going to the next area where I'm um, going to. I really don't have to do anything. I can just walk. Do you remember, does anybody, is anybody here old enough to remember the criticisms Final Fantasy XII had when um, it came out? When Final Fantasy XII came out, I know this is an obscure reference, but I remember 
I'm talking shit about it. It's a game you really, you really don't even have to play. I mean, you can just put them on autopilot and all the characters do the fighting for you. I wonder if that was ahead of its time. I don't know. Sometimes I think about these things and I'm like, oh wait, is that, is that a good mechanic to have? I don't know. It's so funny to play a game. I'm almost, I'm almost like 70 hours into this. I think more than 70, 71. Okay, it's kind of, how many of these guys have to, you have to kill? It's for like forever. I do this. That's uh, that's how you defeat the Iron Golem. But apparently, um, it, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't count as a defeat. Say cloud. I wonder if it's still snowing outside. Sometimes I like to drop off and just let the game by itself. Is there, like, is there a soul that makes enemies come to you like that? It's like you're, it's like you're a piece of shit and all the flies go to you. Oh, 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 oh. Is there another one down here? Let's jump up. Is there a trick to this whole ectoplasm thing? Yeah, I guess we're like this up online. This is kind of ridiculous. You should be able to... One, one soul should not take forever, you know? Is there like something that I have to equip or something? See if there's a if there's a if there's an item that will help me get the uh, the ectoplasm soul. It's kind of annoying. Guys, I want to go check this out. This is kind of ridiculous. And the other mystery is, why haven't I been able to... I fought the Iron Golem. Why isn't it that I haven't been able to get, get his soul? Or why doesn't it read as a... as a... as a kill? That's really strange. Thank you. 
strange, strange, strange. Okay. What on earth? Why haven't I been able to get this soul yet? This is ridiculous. I feel like a million of these things. I think it's in soul because you hit his head so many times he forgets who he is. I got a hammer. Master of Ceremonies hammer. That's what I'm successful. Is my daughter up? God, we had such a tough time with her today. Because. Um, we could have sent her to, to, to take her today, but uh, she's only two, but um, well, she's two enough. <laughs> and yeah, she's at that age where, you know, she gets bored really fast. And uh, my wife and I, we're, we're both home, so we're wondering what on earth to do to her with her today. She's a little bit sick. She had a little bit of a cold. She caught that one out. We went out and about on Saturday afternoon. We went to this, um, this town that really, we haven't been to before. It's about, uh, about like maybe a half hour north. And it was kind of cool. Um, but it was also, it was also real cold. And I was, I didn't want to take her there actually. I mean, I thought. I thought we would be doing something else entirely, but such is life, it happened, and I was worried more about my son, because my son is, you know, he's, 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 he's but, you know, more than two months old, and I thought maybe, maybe he would be, well, he'd be the one getting sick, because we were outside in the stroller, and we had him wrapped in, in, in um, and, uh, Blankets and, and the whole Megillah, and ended up not doing. I mean, he was okay. It's just my my, my daughter got sick. Maybe my my uh, wife got a little bit sick too. We all had a touch of something. So, and yesterday I tried uh, usually sleep with my daughter. What happened was that she got sick. She woke up at like four o'clock in the morning. Well, I slept mostly. I went to bed early. I went to bed like maybe like nine thirty, ten or something. It's early for me. And, um, and my daughter just was not, she slept, she slept a lot, but, but at four o'clock I, I uh, wanted to read, so I turned on the, the light, and what happened was he just started, he just woke up and she was just a hot mess, so, so, anyway, that's when I started my day, it was at around four in the end. I was reading to her and, you know, trying to take care of her. So, you know. The very least we can do to our... <laughs> the very least we can do for our children is to protect them when they have... When they're scared at night, when they're sick. And there's some people out there who just, you know, don't even want to... Have a relationship with their children. They don't, don't want to to know them or, or even take care of them. They just want to let the chips fall as they may. Well, it's a very good idea. So be very careful with that kind of thing. Right, I am inching closer and closer to looking this up online. Why haven't I been able to get ectoplasm soul after killing so many of them? Because there are so many, you're supposed to slaughter as many as you can. Let's go this way. I know women in video games have nipples. Why is that? 
Is anybody in there? Is it a censorship thing? Oh! Fucking finally! You did it, guys. Alright. Yay! I hear the, the applause in my mind. Guys, look at this. 99.1. And the last guy, the last man, is the Iron Golem. I'm just checking. I don't see him here, I guess, and I know I've faced him. No, wait, Iron Golem's here. So who is this? Red Minutes are 82. Look at, let me look at the, uh... Okay. We're after Flash Golem. <laughs> the Flash Golem. Would you like to come over and see my Flash Golem? I gotta get his head up. Oh man. Was it Big Golem? Faced off against him. Great. I don't even know this is this this I have to look up because I don't know what this is. Wait a minute. Skyfish. I think it's the skyfish, guys. Jack Crusader. Yeah, it's a skyfish. Alright. Alright, well, this gives you an excuse to play a little longer. Hopefully get to 100. And then after that... Wee! 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 Ow! Ow! Ha ha! Hoo hoo! Hoo hoo! Hopefully after that, um, um, I'll save the, uh, the Julius Belmont stream for... Maybe this weekend? That'd be a lot of fun. Because... There's another trophy if you beat the game using Julius Belmont. So now, where to, where to find these Skyfish? Skyfish Tasty Fish. Alright, well, let's continue our uh, systematic search. Look at these babes. Oh my god. Scissoring girls. Look at this. God, what does it remind you of? Gym clothes. I need to go to the gym. Oh my god. Alright, where does this go? This goes down. Let's go down. Let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's go this way. And then... Right, let's just... Let's just go this way. Just so you just clear things out. I have to go to the skyfish. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that today. It's the windfish. When I was growing up, I didn't have an SNES. And I always regretted it. But, what I did have was a Game Boy. And one night, I had asked my mom, my mom uh, used to work at the mall. And I asked my mom, Mom, I was really young, and uh, I was probably, how old was I, when uh, Link's Awakening came out? Oh, Link's Awakening came out, like, uh, was it 94, 93? I was 9 or 10 or something. the bones falling all over you. Feel the bones falling all over you. I'd ask my mom to get me Link's Awakening. Because it was on it was coming to the game where I was like, oh yeah, I have to get it. 
and um, I was privileged enough to get it. Oh, I brought it home to me. I won't. God, I think I, it came out at around. Uh, God, I want to say it came out at around. I wonder. I want to say it came out at around uh, Thanksgiving of that year, because I remember staying up late and watching the news, and it was a report about. Uh, uh, I was too nervous because I thought my mom was going to bring it for me anyway. And I was staying up and watching the news and I was watching a report on the the uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Day uh, parade floats. How they were getting ready for the big parade the next day. Um, I could be totally getting this wrong, I admit. But that was a night, it was a Friday night. I think, no, it couldn't have been a Friday night. It must have been a Wednesday night because the next day was, you know... And my mom ended up bringing me a, a, a The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. No, wait, was it Link's Awakening? That was Link's Awakening, yeah. It was Link's Awakening. It was Link in the Past, that was a Super Nintendo one. And Link's Awakening. And I remember somebody at the time at school told me when they eventually played it themselves, they're like, this is a big Zelda game for a Game Boy game. This is a big game in general. And I was really pleased when I heard that because uh, uh, this guy played a lot of video games and he was really impressed with the amount of, uh, of, uh, of gameplay that he could have done in that game. Which, you know, of course, is Zelda, so why would, why, would you, why, would you not, why would you think differently? Did I go all the way over there? I did, never mind. Um, I love my mom. I, I had such a hard time when I was growing up in school. Um, it was strange, you know. I, I guess I was a little bit of a of a of an academic-y kind of kind of boy, but But I knew that wasn't that wasn't all to life, you know. And the best moments came when I was at home with my family. No lie. And that's why I decided to stream while I'm with my family now. To uh, share with you, I don't know, my insights, my thoughts, and just unwind a little bit. Because this is what this is great for, right? When these when people when you see people play online. You see them chilling and whining, and it's really usually very relaxing. I know it relaxes me. Let's go back this way. Is this back to the uh, the ballroom with the ghosts? Okay, I see, I see imps or tiny devils rather. It's kind really of nice to play this game again. You're overpowered. Oh, there's our friend, giant ghost. Hope you guys don't mind the quality of the audio that I have here. I'm just talking. I'm just using the PlayStation Five mic. Let's see. Let's go down here. I, and I've never played a Zelda game previous to uh, to Link's Awakening. I mean, I played it, but I never played through it. You know what I mean? And, I've been, and I was dying to play Link to the Past. Dying. I remember getting copies of, of Nintendo Power. And I would see Link to the Past come up. And I was like, why? And I was I was loving everything I saw. I remember when I saw the commercial to Nintendo Power so long ago. That, uh... I was, that's when I begged my parents a lot. Can you just order that for me? And uh, they did. And it was great. When I got, I was like, I got every single Nintendo Power. They must have made a killing out of uh, out of uh, children like me. Nintendo did. And so I'm just look at this bell guy. It's cheese. I can't even knock it though. That sucks. Um, these things are really well clock bell tower. Um, just wanting to know the tricks and the secrets and what was coming up next, and your mind would be like blown, you know. That's not even the right way to describe it.
He thinks the skyfish are not in these hills. In this clock tower. Uh, well, I hate going back down. But, why not? That'll be a fun little uh, side, side mission. Why not? You know what's interesting? Um... I didn't know Stutter and Craig from Side Scrollers and, uh, and uh, Screw Attack was still around. I have not seen him in like, decades. I remember the guy, um, I remember Angry Video Game Nerd, of course, you can forget, right? And I remember when, when, when you'd watch the stuff, oh my god, was it, was it, uh, was it first on ScrewAttack.com? I think it was somewhere. Okay, yeah, it was first on screw attack and then it became right, game trailers on com. Got it. So right. And also watching the other like, you know, screw attack, oh, those, those were like those are that was an interesting time. You get to see screw attack and then and then Angry Video Game Nerd and Sutter and Craig was one of the guys who was the editors and the creators, I think, of uh, screwattack.com. And I haven't seen that guy in really in a long, long time. And I saw, her, and I saw him on Nerdrotic, and then I saw her, um, saw him on Carolyn's channel when Carolyn did her um, one-year cancelversary. And I'm like, dude, I, and he's still around. Studying Craig is still uh, still around, and I was kind of happy to see that because, uh, you know, it's been a while. You don't know what happened to these guys. Kind of neat. I don't know what happened with Hans. Is it Handsome Tom? I know they had like a falling out or something, and he went uh, on his own thing. I think he created the Game Heroes. I wonder how he's doing. I haven't checked up on him in a while. Uh, right, let's go up here. This is like a little catacomb passageway. Whoa! What in the world is this? Okay, that's interesting. That's an interesting side. All uh, oh, right, that was a that was a puzzle. Um, all right, let's go back down. Feed this Quetzalcoatl. I need to find the skyfish. The last. The last of the souls. I have to probably see the name of this video. Capturing the elusive skyfish. Oh, let's head up here, right? Did we go up here already? No, we didn't. Oh, wait, this is, the, this is like the mini side area to the bell tower, right? I'm wondering, I don't know if I just look it up, but what is, what is this, what is this called? Chapel, okay, I think it's called the clock tower. Um, I'm wondering if this guy, like, jeez, he's a skyfish. Oh, is our friend, the sexy, like, scissor girl? Durga. And speaking of uh, people I haven't seen in a while, I don't know how this came up, I forgot, but uh, oh, I am Twiler. He's still around, Spoonie's still around. I remember seeing Spoonie um, back in like 2011, 2012, and I like this stuff. And I know that he had, there's, like, there's the drama he had with the, uh, the movie he was supposed to make or something. Well, speaking as a guy who who uh, was into making movies for a while, I kind of still am, but not so much anymore. Oh, maybe else part of me is like, don't say that, don't say that, but you never know, right? Maybe creative pursuits, you know, it's hard. It's like, you know, it's a, it's a, um, to go off topic here, I don't know I end while it, but it's just, it's an auxiliary conversation. Uh, whatever it happens if you're good at something, but I guess these people on the wrong path. <laughs> I thought I was really good at um, imagining making movies, writing, and so forth. Oh, we're back in the main corner. Interesting. 
Interesting. Okay, let's let's go down here before we end up there. And I think what ended up happening to me, going back to me talking about uh, creative pursuits, is that I fell into a black hole. Uh, wait, where is this? This looks very very reminiscent to the beginning. It's, it's, of course, I think it's intentional. Yeah, with these repeating maps. Let's keep going. And even though I was good at something, um, did that mean I wasn't supposed to do it? Life has another path of calling for me, and I believe that it was the first one. But I thought really for sure, I thought making moves was going to be my thinking this moment. But I don't think so, man. Uh, it's not something that, that uh, it's probably even really remotely real for me now, I don't know. To the flames of 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 You shall not pass. But yeah, I heard um, no aunt when I was supposed to make this movie, and, and I don't know what happened. Yeah, he couldn't do it. No one was or another. Well, that's what happens in life sometimes. Let us save. Why does Dracula have these statues here? Virgin Mary statue. Let's see, we have to find the skyfish. The skyfish is what sustains us, guides us, gives us life. The skyfish. Um shall we go up? Yeah, what the hell's going on? Everything's also going to be... We're going to be heading back to... Uh, I'll, I'll look at this, though. I'm going to run back to the heart to my full capacity. Old habits, etc, etc. Let's see. What is this? Oh, this is the clock tower. Right, maybe it's up here. How great Medusa is. This would be good for this. I don't want to go to the transporter room yet, the portal room. But we have to look for that. Oh, great. I wonder, can I stream on an Xbox Series X? I was thinking about getting one. Or, does that, or do I have to get like one of the... Series S. S is in Sam. X is in Xavier. Oh my god. This is unnecessarily. Oh my god, this is unnecessarily busy. This developers are like, this is gonna throw shit at them. Why not? Alright, let's see. This. Okay. This will not be the right um school. Let's go to school. Step away for a second, and then you'll know. Uh, let's save. So you never know. Uh, let's hope I can get the skyfish tonight. 
I'm gonna look it up. I kinda wanna just discover it. As a... As a matter of, of organic discovery now. Oh! I didn't even notice the golem was there. Caught him. Caught him. How about them apples? There's the skyfish guys, not the iron golem. I told you I fit, I, uh... I faced, I faced off with the iron golem. Let's go up here. Ow. First so much. Somebody bumps to the head, he's gonna think he's everybody else. Posse spoiler. Oh, okay. Do you think the skyfish are ahead? Okay. So I already was in this area. These are, I'll tell you right. It's really the wrong way to go. Skyfish, where the heck are the skyfish? Yeah, now I might come up here down there. So let's uh, let's head back the way we came. Seems slightly randomized, but I don't think it is. You get the impression that's randomized, but it isn't. So other plans for um, potential late night gamer dad episodes, if any, would be um, playing through uh, the game as Julius Belmont. There we go. Because that's also another, another trophy. So I figure I can I can get that done. Jeez, oh, don't try to go down here. Gonna get pain. Because you don't get impaled. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um, there's a save down there. I can get my health back. I mean, I can excuse my, my recovery, but... Uh, why? That one room. Ow, son of a bitch. Smart. Let's see. Come on, Skyfish. Would this be 
Will this be the home of the elusive Skyfish? Or is this a pointless Miranda and Miranda? Meandering, Miranda, Mirandizing. Meandering. Okay, good. Let's get the hell out of here. Save. Oh, this is, where you fight, this is where you fight death, I remember. Appropriate. Appropriate. Okay. So. Not so well. Let's head back and go across that one set channel. Looks like a bridge. When you're playing these games, are you just, uh, based on the level, based on the uh, level design? Yeah, based on the level design, are you supposed to be going like you know three dimensionally across? The, oh, I think we're close to the to the skyfish guys. Let's see. Wrecking ball. I don't usually put my Lee Sirens, but when I do, let's wreck it now. Nah, I never put my Lee Sirens. That was a fluke. Are you guys Taylor Swift fans? I'm not. <laughs> no, uh... No judgment. This is not a Taylor Swift fan. Oh, I'm getting close to, uh... This is where the end of the game is. Well, one ending of the game anyway. I should. Uh, when I was talk telling you about the level design and different Castlevania games, there's always this one, you know, reminiscent of... What in the world? Oh, is the skyfish here? What the hell did the skyfish do? No, no, no. Let's, let's, let's rewind it. We don't need to see this. That was kind of a stupid side, side venture anyway. Um, right, so... I guess so many games, this especially the older school ones. I don't know if any of the newer ones, if there's been any. Um, I don't think they've, they're had that. There have been any recent Castlevania games? I like the Hideo Kojima ones, like the last one. Um, they always have that long staircase that go up. It's like this. The moon in the back. And there's the clock tower. We, just, we were just there. So I guess we just went in this... What was this? There's a place where only you, Dracula. Oh, spoiler alert, Ingo. That's where the chaos is. That's right, look at this. Oh, God. Um, yeah, that's look how romantic this is. <laughs> it's a balcony. So gothic. Um, yeah, let's ignore the sculpture of the giant tortured woman with the, with the blood coming out of her weeping, weeping blood eyes. Um, yeah, so when you face off Dracula at the end of Castlevania, you uh, typically go up the staircase. So, spoiler alert, when you play this game, um, you, uh, you think you might be facing the final boss, but not so. The true final boss is, if you don't want to listen, I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The true final boss is chaos. Which is very interesting because, to me, because it implies uh, uh, I was gonna say I was gonna do a young game thing, but does the uh, does the subconscious imply chaos when you want to control your own chaos in life? Is this what that's supposed to mean? The chaos of the world. Alright, let's go, um, let's go into this big hall. The search for the skyfish continues. Chaos, redundancy, meaning. Great music. Up against a giant chicken. Here's the iron column. 
they cook it easily once you have uh, Is this anything? I forgot this is anything. So, yeah, the last game, the last boss of the game is Chaos. And the last boss is very reminiscent of uh, well, the boss battles. Oh, let's wait on the last boss, yeah. It's very reminiscent of uh, the boss battle, the last boss battle in Final Fantasy X. And Final Fantasy X is, not that it's my favorite fantasy game, but I have very fond memories of playing it, even though I never beat it. My friend at the time, he had a copy of Final Fantasy X, we were both, we were all like, like we were game friends and I, we were very much into Final Fantasy at the time. And what ended up happening was, uh, we were seniors in high school and Final, Final Fantasy X came out, right? And we were at the point of, of just, you know, moving on with our lives and so forth, different ways. Um, for the most part. And he ended up getting a copy of Final Fantasy X, right? So, um, he got us, he got way, he got very deep into Final Fantasy X. And I had to start over for some reason. This is one point that used to be forever. I'm like, I can't do this forever. I mean, I was really, you know, crushing on a girl or something at the time. So, right, anyway, he, uh, he ended up playing the game at the very end of the game. And I watched him beat it. Like, the very end of the game is, 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 Okay, I'll give you a spoiler alert if you don't want to hear anything about it. It's final, the end of Final Fantasy X. Maybe five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The end of Final Fantasy X is pretty much is you have to face off against the the, the, the guy that that um, that the world essentially worships as a god, more or less. And you surrender the summons that you collect throughout the game to him. And remember yesterday, the other day how I mentioned... Uh, uh, that you can get overpowered and you can power up your summons and so forth in Final Fantasy X to the point of overkilling all your enemies because, because you're so powerful. Yeah, well, that's probably totally intentional when I think about it because can you imagine? Um, look at this, I keep someone helpless to vampires. This is like in real life, someone or I guess like that in real life, to heed fellas. Um, I think I'll go this way. Oh, there's Stolas. Stole That's the, the one demon I was telling you guys about. Who the hell is a skyfish? Well, I haven't faced him. So maybe, maybe I don't know where he is? Shit, man. I'm gonna have to look this up again. Let's see. Skyfish, 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 skyfish. Skyfish. Where the hell is he? What's his thing? What's the skyfish's thing? Uh -oh. While praying, let's luck and strength increase for a moment. Okay, would that be? No. Remember that flying thing I was telling you guys about? I showed it to you last time? Is that the skyfish? Oh my god, are you serious? I have to go all the way back down there?
So, hey everybody, something's come up, and I have to step away for a moment. So that means, sadly, a premature end to the stream. So I'm going to save over here like so. And wrap it up. So thank you so much for joining me. And out. Oh, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully with the skyfish.